When we talk about planting trees on farms, we often talk about how it needs to be done for environmental benefits. That the farmer should revegetate because it's good for wildlife, native vegetation, or the ecosystem. However, there is a problem with this line of thinking. If we only think about the environmental benefits of farm vegetation, it implies that it's the only reason to conserve trees on farms. This is far from the truth, as farm trees provide a range of economic benefits to farms, making them a sensible business investment. Hi, I'm Dr Ian Smith. In this series, I'll be suggesting ways in which vegetation can be used to enhance farm productivity, as well as its associated environmental benefits. In this video, I'll start by discussing what we mean by farm vegetation and touching on what benefits they can provide to farms. Remnant vegetation is often the first thing we think of when we think of vegetation adjacent to farms. These are typically areas of forest that were never cleared or cleared long enough ago that the areas have revegetated back to their original state. These areas are typically uncleared as they are either not fertile enough to grow crops or are too difficult to work. Despite this, these areas provide a diverse range of ecosystem services to farms, including pest control, soil protection, improved soil structure, as well as being important habitat for wildlife. You could be forgiven for assuming a single tree in the middle of a paddock would be unimportant, but these lonely figures in cleared landscapes are actually some of the most important environmental features within the agricultural landscape. This is because these scattered paddock trees are often old growth trees, meaning they are full of hollows with large canopies that can produce nectar and pollen, making them ideal habitat for pest insect eating species such as bats and insect eating birds. These species could not otherwise exist in cleared farmland. Multiple scattered trees are also effective in reducing wind speeds across an entire paddock, reducing soil erosion and crop damage, while their deep roots prevent rising salinity. Shelter belts, also known as hedgerows or windbreaks around the world, are rows of trees that have been planted by landholders. Typically, they are planted to reduce wind speeds and are one of the most common revegetation projects undertaken by landholders. Although typically undertaken for just wind speed reduction, shelter belts offer a range of benefits, including habitat for biological control species, improved land value, and buffering against the impact of weeds and agrochemical drift. Riparian vegetation is any vegetation growing alongside a river or other watercourse. These areas often receive the most funding and attention from government conservation programs due to their ability to improve water quality downstream and their ease of revegetation, often as simple as fencing out livestock. These areas of vegetation stabilise riverbanks, provide a source of beneficial arthropods, and improve water quality, all of which can improve a farm's productivity. Although we can categorise farm vegetation in numerous ways, any form of vegetation is likely to at least have some benefit to productivity. In this series, I'll be discussing the best ways in which agricultural productivity can be maximised through the planting of vegetation on farms. I'll also be answering any questions you may have, so leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for future episodes. If you are interested in receiving a farm vegetation plan for your property to maximise your productivity, feel free to contact me on profitable.habitat at gmail.com. Until next episode, thank you for watching.